Hello everyone, welcome to William and the Magic Box. Today on our show, we are going to have Renato. Renato is from Atlanta in Georgia in the USA. So let's see what Renato has to say. Enjoy the interview. So hello Renato, how are you? Very good, very good. I'm a little nervous about this. I've not done anything like this in a very long time. So yeah. <laughs> It's uh, amazing. It's going to be relaxing for sure, I promise you. <laughs> so tell me how is your morning going so far your day uh very good um got a little bit of cold but um mm -hmm. doing pretty good well otherwise um just been a busy morning uh, just i'm retired so mm -hmm. more freedom but i still have a lot of, have a lot of things i i gotta get done most of the time so yeah <laughs> yeah, yeah so tell me where are you from renato Uh, I was raised in I was raised in Boston. Mm -hmm. so I lived in North Carolina. My dad was military, so okay. I was did a lot of traveling. Um, but I was raised in Boston. Yeah, so that's where I'm from. I, see. I was not, I was born in Brazil, but I was raised in Boston. I was only in Brazil for like maybe like six months. Oh wow! And we moved to Boston. So, yeah. So, yeah. I see. So you you have your half of your family there from Brazil from your mom's side and your dad is American or not? Uh that's a long story. My mother was actually um adopted. I've been to Brazil. I've cousins there still, but in the many But I uh um um she was adopted by <laughs> it was a long story. My mother my mother her mother died when she was very young. Right. Uh, she was 10 years old. And she lived on the street in Brazil, and right. uh, she was skinny, had no, she ate anything she can get. And she, she had a little brother that she took care of also. Um, right. So it's a long story, it's a long story. Okay. But, uh, <laughs> you have some Brazilian blood on you. <laughs> uh, yeah, my, my, my dad was actually from Philadelphia. He was, uh, he was black Rican. So I I'm a big, everything. So I okay. my mom had my mother had blood, her blue eyes. Um, wow. So, so I'm gonna make sure I don't know. I have blood. I'm not. <laughs> but, so before uh, before you retired, uh, what were you doing before? What was your career before retired? Well, I was involved in. Um, I was a lawyer. Okay. Um, I before retired before I retired, I worked in juvenile court. Um, huh? uh, so that was interesting. I did that for many years. Um, um, I was, I was a judge in juvenile court. I see. Wow. Uh, um, that's what I did for a living. I retired two years ago, um, wow. uh, during COVID, uh, after mm -hmm. COVID, because they just had, they had a backload of cases and I didn't want to. Yeah. So, that was a good time. <laughs> and I believe you are living in Atlanta now, yeah? I live here in Atlanta, yes. Yes. I see. Have you been to you been here? I've never been to Atlanta actually. Last time um I, I'm I'm based in I'm from Brazil, I'm based in London, I'm living in London, but right now I'm in Canada, I'm in Montreal, I'm visiting my, my best friends and uh, my godson as well. So I'm just visiting for, for a few days. Um but yeah, I live in, in London. Very nice, very nice, nice. Oh, okay, Renato, so, so during the journey, I'm going to explore a little bit more about your life, about your point of views overall, okay? Okay. Are you, ready to, are you ready to go on a beautiful journey through your memories in life and share your point of views? I think so, maybe, I mean, I don't <laughs> mean, yeah. Amazing. Okay, welcome to William and the Magic Box. So I've got to hear my best friend. Wonderful questions. I'm just gonna play a song now just for us to relax a bit before the first question, okay? Right. Maybe. <laughs> let's let's do it. Hey Renato, before we start the game, during the join, if it comes up a question that you don't want to talk about some reason you don't want to answer, always can change, okay? No problem. 
Right. First question for you is, who was your favorite teacher and why? Wow. Um, my uh, God, there's two of them. Um, God, Lynn Seiler was a good teacher of mine. She was the one who got who saw a lot in me. I was a gymnast and um, when I was younger. And she uh, convinced me to move from Boston to North Carolina to be trained by somebody as a coach, for a coach, as a coach. So she had a, she, she had a lot of, uh, she was a great person to me. Um, the second person was a professor in college, mm -hmm. uh, Dr. Shaheen, um, Professor Shaheen. Uh, he, was, he taught me history. And he was, uh, he had a, a huge impact on my religious views, everything. He had a great impact. The books he had us to read were really important to me. So those two guys were my great, uh, my favorite teachers. And uh, got two other guys, um, my coach, gymnastics. He was, a, he was, he was my, I've known him since I was 15 years old. I've taught him every week since then. Um, and my Japanese coach, Coach Rizaki, he died last year. Those my, wow. oh, it's hard to say. So which my two favorite. Those, Gr um, growing up, uh, growing up, did you like school? I love school. Yeah, I uh, love learning. Um, I love reading. I love history, especially. Uh -huh. um, yeah. So yeah, I'd be amazing. Very good. Next question, Renato. Let's do it. Next question for you is, if you could have been in a moment or event in history, which one that would be and why? Ooh, okay, in history? Hmm. God, it's a, that's a hard question to ask, answer. Um, probably in the 60s, late 60s, uh, because I think there's a lot to fight for. Mm -hmm. um, me, I think that would have been a great time to be to be to be a part of something um so probably then you know and that's it i was born in the 60s so i mean i, I guess I lived or to say i guess i i would i would have been would have been nice to be involved in the civil rights movement i think i see and how was for you growing up as a gay boy back in back in the time did you have the support of your family how was your experience well, uh, a more actually, I'm actually more bisexual. Okay. But, uh, um, my parents did not know I was gay, um, or like, or like men and women, whatever. Um, I never really, we, we never really discussed sex in my family. Um, I told my sister, and of course she told me. So, and that was probably it. I, I told her just you know between her and I, you know. She had a sister, daughter, that was gay, so I thought it would be would have been you know it, it worked out. The point she just told everybody in the family and wow. Uh, <laughs> and um, uh, growing up, who, uh, which parents in your in your family or right now you're more close to? Oh God, I'm one of nine kids. Uh, wow, big family. Yeah, yeah. We a brother that passed away. He is my closest friend. Um, uh -huh. brother. Um, he was my closest friend, but now probably my sister. Mm -hmm. She's at least, at least once a week. Um, so yeah, yeah. And then she's my sister now. My sister, me and Brittany, one out of, out of them. <clears throat> yeah. All right. Next question. Let's do it. Before the next question, when I was checking your profile, I could see how passionate you are about uh, body beauty, about gym, yeah? So, uh, fitness always be in your life? Oh, uh, yeah. I mean, I, my, you know, my, my dad worked out many years ago. Um, I was involved in gymnastics for many years. So I feel more comfortable in a gym than I do mm -hmm. outside. So 
uh, it's, it's always been a part of my life, it seems. So, how yeah. often do how often do you train? Uh, I used to train like almost every day, um, but lately, the year I've been more focused on recovering. Mm -hmm. My body has to grow, um, so I work out usually on a Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and take off Monday. So, oh. so yeah, so, uh, and I take off Monday because I um, I do legs on Sunday. And my legs are usually, we do a hard workout on, on Sunday. Yeah, so. I see. All right. Next question for you is, what scares you the most about your future? Well, I'm 61, so nothing scares me anymore about my yeah. future. So I, I, I don't, uh, I don't, I can't think of anything that scares me right now. Um, I mean, the idea about, I, I think I've lived a good life, mm -hmm. uh, and I, I, I still see a lot, a lot of life in me still. So, um, you know, um, nothing really. Just. I can't think of anything to really scare me. Amazing. And Atlanta, um, what's the best part of living in Atlanta, in our opinion? What do you think is the biggest joy of it? I think Atlanta is very, very, very diversified. A lot mm -hmm. of people here. Also, a lot of it's a big city. So we have certain parts of Atlanta is different from other parts of Atlanta. Um, we're downtown, there's more arts, it's very mixed. Um, I live more in Buckhead, so it's a little mm -hmm. more mixed. Well, something all over. Uh, I like, yeah, I like Atlanta. It's not much I can complain about it. So. I, I had a few guests on the show from Atlanta, and they told me that Atlanta, it's like a blue spot um, around the reddish, around the area. Is that true? It, well, I think I think it's changing now. I think at one point it was like a big circle. Like 285 is like a major road here, and outside 285 was a little more different. But now mm -hmm. I think it's, I think that uh, it's um, it's gotten bigger, more spread out. Um, I, you know, years ago, if you were in a place called Cobb County, it was very pretty much not really mixed that much. But now it has changed. So you know, I think it's I think it's evolving. So yeah, I see. So, yeah. I see. Cool. Ready for another question? Let's do it. Next one. Are you feeling a bit more calm now? I do. Do. Yeah. Amazing. Very good. <laughs> Next question is, what is something not many people know about you? A lot of people don't know I, I, I am an artist. I do a lot of detail painting. Um, huh? Not much about that. Um, I play saxophone. Ah. I love jazz. Um, um, I love music. Wow. I love, you know that I danced on the old train years ago. <laughs> wow, amazing. <laughs> uh, so uh, that's, that's uh, a lot of people did not know that I was involved in law that either. Uh, I didn't yeah. really like that. So yeah, that's about wow. really... And you always want to be a lawyer? No. Um, I wanted to be an artist mm -hmm. at one point. But when I was in school, I it seemed to me that art was more demanding than law school was. Because you had to paint yeah. something pretty quickly, and I don't really do well that way. Uh, having to get something done pretty quickly. Like, I'm not creative, but I'm not, I can't just do something. I got to fill it. Uh -huh. and, and, uh, yeah, I want to be an artist. I want to be an architect also. But when you're younger, you have brothers and sisters, and they decide what they want to be. My older brother is an architect, and um, I became a So, yeah, so. Uh, 
Amazing. Actually, tonight on this show, um, tonight at 10 p.m., I mean, 10 p.m., the UK time, uh, there's there's going to be a lawyer on the show tonight. We had the interview a few weeks ago, and his interview goes live tonight. He's from Los Angeles. Oh, yeah, cool. Sounds cool. Yeah, that's <laughs> cool. <laughs> next, next question. Okay, Renato from Atlanta. Next question is, what's your favorite TV show? God, I watch a lot of television. Um, I watch a lot of Netflix. Um, God, I don't, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> That's a good question. <laughs> in the past, it was like in the old days, it was like Three's Company, you know, uh -huh. or who shows or or Jeffersons or all the family. But now I don't watch a lot of TV anymore, so it's hard for me to say. Um, do, you consider, do you consider yourself to be more of a day or night person? Uh, I'm more of a, a day person. I like yeah. sunshine. I'm not, I don't do very well with rain. So, uh, but at night, I used to be a night person. I would paint to like four in the morning years ago. Wow. And that, when it's like two o'clock, I go to bed, you know, I'm, I'm busy. <laughs> so, do you, so you're still painting, you do some art still. Uh, occasionally, I, I, um, well, honestly, not, not lately. I've not done anything in, pro in probably three years. Mm -hmm. But I need to get things out of bed and, and, and uh, paint those things. So, yeah. I see. All right. Next question. But before the next question, um, when you think about your career as a lawyer, uh, what was the best part of being a lawyer? And what did you find most challenging through your career? Well, I worked in juvenile court. Um, it was challenging every day. Um, God, that's a good question. Those are pretty good questions. Um, I, 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 did, I enjoyed, well, I went to law school. I had a different mentality about what I want to do. Mm -hmm. actually, everything, everything changed because it was more of a job. Um, it was not about passion help, about helping out people. It was more about just getting the job done. Um, so I can't really say. I mean, I like to read. Uh, it mm -hmm. was good. Um, I like to uh, learn about people. Um, that part was really good. But uh, I, that's, that's a hard question to think. So it's hard to say. <laughs> All right. Next question is, what is one food you could eat for the rest of your life? Thai food. Thai oh. food? Really? Mushroom chicken. I love mushroom chicken. So, do, you like, do you like cooking? No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm cooking. But I don't like cleaning up afterwards. I mean, <laughs> washing dishes, I don't like doing that. So I, I don't mind cooking. Uh, I'm not a great cook. Uh -huh. but yeah, so that's, you know, so I'm and, not uh, really. and what's something that you can't eat at all? Something that you don't like to eat? Well, well I'm allergic to scallops. I can't eat scallops. Um, I don't like raisins. Um, uh, God, I'm, I'm sick of lobster. Uh, <laughs> uh, and those are the things I really can't eat. Yeah, that's I don't really, I don't, I'm not much of a fish person. I don't really enjoy eating fish. So. I see. All right. Three questions left for you. Let's do it. Hey, Renato, next question is, what season of the year you feel more connected with and why? Summer. Uh, because I like being outside. I like heat. I like being warm. I like, I like walking around with a shirt on. Um, I, I like the summer the most. And um, do you, uh, the weather in, in Atlanta, they are very defined, the seasons, or they are sometimes can be over the place? Really? Oh, actually, I think Atlanta has a very short winter. Um, it does get cold here, but mm -hmm. as you can, like today is 
the weather is perfect. It's almost like 75 degrees outside. Wow. So yeah, no, I mean, I mean, we have very few, very few seasons. So, That's why you're wearing a very chill t-shirt today, yeah? <laughs> Two questions left. Let's do it. Renato, before the next question, you know 2020, when the world went upside down because of the COVID crisis, yeah? Personally for you, what's the positive outcome that came through that challenge or there's something positive that came out for you of that challenge uh, time? Well, I may get in trouble for this, but I, I, uh, I actually went to the gym. My gym was open all the time, you know, um, so when people were staying inside, I was actually, I was working out. Um, I, the gym, I, the gym I train in is a big gym, so it's huge. And uh, you could be work, you could work out by yourself pretty much without anybody, anybody around you. So, um, but what I learned from COVID was I learned that um, I want to uh, have more freedom, mm -hmm. and I feel like there's not a fucking trap into a lifestyle. Um, we had to work, and it had, to, had to follow a pattern in life. So when COVID COVID happened, COVID happened. Um, I, I still realized that I, I liked the idea of having a little more freedom. So yeah, that's what I, that's what I like about COVID. That's what I learned from COVID, so. so. Okay. <laughs> Next question is, who make you laugh the most? Hmm. Uh, God, uh, well, kids can make me laugh a lot. Um, I like, I mean, I like being around kids, uh, especially young gymnasts, um, you know, they, they have such a, I mean, they're young, they, they, they're, they're happy, you know, and, you know, and some of the things they say would make me laugh. So, you know, I'm generally a pretty serious person, but, um, and you make me laugh. You got a great smile. So, you know, oh. <laughs> you know? but generally I'm, I'm pretty much, uh, um, um, stoic kind of personality. I work, I focused, mm -hmm. but yeah, occasionally my friends can make me laugh, you know, we can joke around, you know. When you think about yourself, um, what's the best part of being Renato? What's the best part of being you when you analyze yourself? I just see myself as a regular guy, you know, just a regular person, uh, nothing really that's, um, I like the idea that I, um, I like that. I, I'm proud that I've taken care of myself so long. Mm -hmm. um, uh, I've gone through a lot of stuff in the past. Um, uh, I got, you know, some medical uh, issues and really those, 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 those problems. Um, uh, uh, I'm a brain tumor survivor. So I got through that, um, through radiation. Uh, it, uh, so yeah, I mean, I just, I mean, I, I like that I, I like, I like that I have, uh, that I can keep moving, keep moving, uh, I see. not dwell on situation and just keep going. So, okay. Yeah. yeah. Ready for the last question? Yeah, sure. Last question, Renato, let's do it. But before the last question, people watch the interview right now. Maybe would you like to start a career in law, yeah? To study law and start a career as a lawyer. What would be your best piece of advice? Make sure you finish. Because if you start, you need to finish. It's not cheap. Law school's mm -hmm. not cheap. You're going to start it, make sure you know what you want to do because it's, it's a very... Um, 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 make sure you like to read, um, uh -huh. like to study, make sure you don't mind getting, make sure you don't mind missing getting sleep because oh. you'll be studying. Um, and also law school is not as easy, law school is easier than actually working as a lawyer. It's a lot different. Um, you know, those are the things I would tell people the most. I think becoming a lawyer. Uh, yeah. Okay. 
Last question is, tell me what did your parents do that comforts you the most? Uh, my mom my mom was tough. Uh, she didn't play. Um, she was uh, <laughs> short. But she was very um, demanding. Uh, not demanding, very... Um, you didn't... <laughs> You, you I say she she was very strict on us. Um, uh, she I never I have never cursed in front of my mother. I I've always respected her very much. It was always was always yes yes yes. Never no no no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, I think that I think the one time I did tell my mother that I told her I thought she was wrong about something. She. She, uh, that was the last time I told her no about anything. And she was, she, she was a strong old lady. <laughs> so, and my dad was, that was pretty, man, my dad was pretty strict also. He had a, he taught me how to work, um, how to work and how to work hard. Um, you know, every summer we, I would work on a farm. Every mm -hmm. summer, I hate it. Um, but we had to work on the farm every summer, and uh, wow. taught me how he taught me how to work and how to wow. do things that I do. We do them anyways. So that's what he taught me. So, Amazing. Very good. Okay, it's not the end yet. Okay, let's play now the word association game. Okay, I'm going to give away some words. Just tell one word that comes to your mind. Quick thinking. Okay. Okay. One word for money. Money, uh, happiness, family, love. One word for life: no regrets. Love, love, um, friends. One word for sex. Oh God, it's all, I can think of a lot of words for that. Uh, um, <laughs> I will say the second thing comes to my mind. Um, passionate. Okay. Politics. Um, <laughs> one word, I'll say. Um, vote. Religion. None. Friendship. Important. Fear. Always there, but but push through. One Desire. Word. It's okay. <laughs> Desire. Uh, um, love. Regret. None. Success. Inside. I like that actually. I like that. Um, oops, there's a minute. Oh, you're there. Yeah. Um, one word for wish. God. Um, oh, God. Um, happiness. Being okay. happy. Okay. And one word for happiness. Memories. How about one word for Atlanta? Traffic. <laughs> <laughs> one word for USA. Oh, God. Um, history. Okay. One word for fitness. Important. And the last one now, lawyer, one word. <laughs> I don't know, it's a good one. Uh, uh, you might need one one day, <laughs> so that's all to say. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let's pretend now I'm going to meet your best friend for a coffee, and I'm going to ask your best friend, what is the most beautiful thing about Renato, and what's something that he still needs to work on to improve on, what your best friend would say? Uh... Probably um, meeting him, <laughs> getting getting together with him, um, hanging out with him over at 
they would say more of an uh, more of a introvert. Um, uh -huh. So I, I tend to do my own thing. I'm not I'm not a pack kind of guy. I don't, I don't follow a pack. I'm more of an individual. Um, um, yeah, I think they would, they would say that. All right. Okay. Let's play now, Renato, in the magic box, and you can ask me a question. You can ask me a question now. Uh, how long have you lived in, how long did you live in Brazil? Good question. So I was born in, in Brazil uh, in a state called Mato Grosso. Yeah. So I left Brazil when I was 19 years old. So it's been a few years already. And uh, I've been living in Europe um, almost 20 years now. 20 years I've been living in, in, in Europe. So it's been, I've been in Europe more, longer than I've been in Brazil. So, so yeah, I, I love Brazil. I love my country. I think it's a, it's a great place to be. But at the same time as well, I love live in London a lot. I think I'm, 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 made, I'm meant to be in London, I think, because um, I, I'm happy there. I, I love uh, the city, uh, but I need to go back to Brazil sometimes to, to recharge the batteries with my family. So, so, yeah, I left Brazil for a while ago now. Like London? like you know, London um <laughs> I like London too um I never drive there never drive in London no so. never <laughs> it's funny because the, the it's so well uh the like the public transports like the you know the, the the underground the trains the bus they are so well connected that you don't need a car in London yeah yeah <laughs> Renato Renato, did you enjoy the interview? I did actually. It was, uh, it was, uh, I was actually um, a bit concerned about my voice, um, but uh, you know, you know, no regrets. So I liked it. It was good. It was great. It was very, very nice. So thank you. We just made memories right now. <laughs> Thank, thank you so much. Thanks for taking the time. Thanks for being so sweet. Actually, thanks for the kind words as well. When I received your message, you were so kind and sweet, saying that to watch the show. So thank you. I really appreciate it. You made my day. When I saw your message, you made my day. Fed away. <laughs> well, thank you. So, but before, before, before you go, if you can share a positive message or anything that you live by. Oh, God. Um, I live in a moment. I don't make a lot of plans too far ahead and I don't think too far back in the past. So I live more in the moment. Um, mm -hmm. um, I do the best I can. I try as hard as I can, uh, especially in the gym. Um, or just as, and I try to make friends. I make new friends all the time. I think it's important to make new friends um, all the time. And I don't, I don't just have a pack of people I hang out with and that's all I do. I try to make new, new people. And make new friends time so yeah so right. it's good meeting you. Oh, so, so thank you so yeah. much nice to meet you it was a pleasure to connect with you and you keep in touch okay thanks so much for the interview okay bye-bye take care bye-bye bye, -bye. bye. So, did you like the show? Don't forget to give a like, share it, and also don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And if you'd like to be part of the show as well, first, subscribe to our channel, and after that, just go to our website, www.williamandthemagicbox.com, and send us a request saying why would you like to be part of the show. And I'll see you there. Bye-bye, see you next time.